Square and we're calling for a big peace offensive so people to get on board now start to plan ahead for a big mass strike coming up at some point of which the people do absolutely nothing nothing in the system and this includes all people you don't have to be a worker to go on strike um, and we need to shut down the system peacefully um, no work in the system and no buying so do nothing and buy nothing uh, we've got to build this up at some point because they're going to attack Iran and they're going to attack Syria. So what do we do? And as a movement, as a peace movement, there's nothing in the system to stop anything. If we go on the marches, what's that going to achieve? They're not going to listen to us, our government. Our government doesn't have to because on Monday we go back to work, we keep the system going. As we keep the system going, that allows them to launch planes, uh, submarines, uh, all the tactical maneuvers for warfare and we have no effect at all. If you look at here, we've just had snow at Parliament Square this weekend. This, uh, these students made uh, like a mum and dad and a baby. But as you can see all around, all the snow's melted. All that's left is the family, and this family is melting. These are the rights of the people, not just in this country that's melting, but the rights internationally. So people need to stand up for their rights. The right to protest, the right to be heard by a government that doesn't want to listen to us. And at some point we're going to have to force the issue peacefully and say, we as peaceful people, we can't stop you from going to war. However, we will not be a party to it. We refuse to uh, be complicit with a war of aggression against people that we have no argument with. Why should we? Ordinary people of the world will stand united. It's the governments of the world and the businesses that create this big division politically. We have no issues as ordinary peaceful people with the people of Iran or with the people of Syria or the Middle East or anywhere. And we will not stand by and have another country destroyed for political gain, for corporate gain. So we will at some point peacefully shut down. So what do we do now? Every Wednesday from now on, we're having demonstrations outside the Foreign and Commonwealth Office here in London, in Whitehall, 4 till 6 p.m. We've got to build up the big peace offensive for solidarity with the people in Syria and Iran. Um, wherever you are in the country, you could do the same. Go down to your local uh, council offices uh, or your city centre and start to build a big peace uh, offensive, a big peace movement that will empower us at some point then to culminate in a strike, a strike for peace.